I think this video is going to be a little bit shorter. It doesn't have a whole lot with it. So this is line 9 and this is part 57 out of about 100 videos. We're talking about the WOW SETI signal that was received August 15, 1977. And the name of this video is Line 9 WOW Remote Agent Experiment RACS NASA Pearl DS1, which is Deep Space 1, Airs. EQ1 NMP Avionautics sorry, Spin Promola AASE Hyperspectral Imager. Those are all the things that came up. Okay, and the equation for this is 3 divided by 16 divided by 1 divided by 31 equals 0 0.006. Okay, there you show there, and there's the equation there. Okay, in this thing here. So the first thing I come up with is NAT model 0, 0.0 trial, some sort of trial, and it was for Perl data structures. And so I googled the Perl data structures in NASA aircraft just to see if anything comes up, because I didn't know if it had anything to do with spaceships or not. I don't know what Perl is about, right? So it says design of the next generation aircraft noise prediction program. Oh, lovely, and it's from NASA. So I thought that was cool. So and so it's talking about NASA's next generation of aircraft noise. Can you believe that? This is stuff that they are working on now in 2011. It is now 2012. They are still working on this these theories, trying to uh, build new stuff. And I'm finding the PDF files for these guys for the work that they're working on. Um, the next one's developing large-scale Bayesian networks by composition fault. Um, developing large-scale Bayesian networks by composition fault. Now, the reason I did two, this one talks about aircraft and spacecraft health management data structure, and it's from NASA AMES Research Center. This one's from NASA AMES Research Center, but it's about aircraft and spacecraft uh, developing the Perl network and data structure using secondary data structure that is used. Okay, your next one is software for manipulating or displaying NET CDF data. Um, AIRS, AIRS level 2. Profiles of moisture, air temperature, and trace gases. There's the Perl interface again. So it looks like some sort of data, like it's a computer program that they use in NASA's uh, spaceships. The internal data structure is called NAO non-dimensional array object or something n-dimensional next one's graph graphical models comes up and it's talking about graphical models are a marriage between probability theory and graph theory um, can model highly interacting sets of variables as well as data structure and likelihood of alternative failures of the space shuttle's prop propulsion system so obviously this is about some of the failures that the space shuttles had with their propulsion system and then the EQ1, I think it's EO or EQ, sorry, not sure what it says. I think it's EO. Automus Science Agent Architecture NASA. This is the NASA Deep Space One mission. RAX is an example of classic three-tiered architecture. And that's no longer running, just so you know. The next one's Autonomous Science Agents and Sensor Webs, EO1 and beyond. So they're talking about future new millennium space technology so we're talking about new space technology here okay uh, let's go back up here now okay so over here this is about the wow signal by dr jerry Eyman. he discovered it with the big air radio telescope and there's the new millennium deep space again there's planning and interplanetary space theory Here's the Space One Remote Agent Experiment RAX. That's what it looked like. And let's just read this here. It succeeded in its primary and its secondary objectives, including flybys of the asteroid Braille and the comet Borelli, returning valuable science data to images. DS1's ion engines were shut down on 18th of December 2001 at approximately um, 8 o'clock UTC, signaling the end of the mission. However, on board, communications remain active in case the craft is needed in the future. So here's a computer kind with a state of art artificial intelligence system being given primary command of a spacecraft known as remote agent. The software operated NASA's Deep Space One air spacecraft 
in its futuristic ion engine during two experiments that started on Monday, May 17, 1999. For two days, remote agent ran on the onboard computer of Deep Space One more than six, 60 million miles from Earth. The tests were a step towards robotic explorers of the 21st century that are less costly, more capable, and more independent from ground control. So I think they probably are using that technology with the Kepler Space Telescope, the one that's finding all the planets and stuff in the Kepler region right now in 2012. And then remote agent experiment racks MIR will detect and isolate a second injected failure, failure of a hardware device. So here's another failure that's come up. Here's the EO-1 Earth observing one. So it is EO, sorry. <laughs> that's what it looks like. Okay, EO-1 is a mission in NASA's NMP New Millennium Program, Earth Science Program, a Landsat 7 follow-up with the overall objectives to perform Landsat leg measurements and to explore new remote sensing technologies, instruments, spacecraft, ground segment that advance and enhance capabilities, evaluation, validation of technologies and performance, inter-satellite calibration, comparison of data, and blah, blah, blah. There's too much there. Um, I'm going to be blogging this stuff on my blog so you can look at it there. Okay, there's another diagram there. Schematic view of the avionics archi architecture. Then we have a Swally's Aerospace coming up here. ePortal.org directory and then uh, ePortal.org directory. Sensor complement. Alley Hyperon LAC. LA's Advanced Land Imager, designed and built and tested by MITL as a prime contractor with the new Millennium Program of NASA. So, and there's the spin model checker. Systems to be verified are described in Promala Process Meta Language, which supports modeling of Ascrinisis distributed algorithms and non determined automate. Spin stands for Simple Program Interpreter. Linear Temporal Logic. There's all sorts of stuff coming up there. It's going to call it PC Talk. Promala. It's a modeling language and an, uh, is in any artificial language that can be used to express information or knowledge or systems in a structure that is identified by a constant set of rules. The rules are used for interpretation of the meaning of components in the structure. Okay, so then um, something else that came up was a focal plane assembly. Spectral parameter param Parameter comparison of LA and ETM plus instruments, hyperspectral imager, um, EOC electro optical camera instrument of CompStat mission, XPAA X band phase array antenna, carbon carbon radiator, LFSA lightweight flexible solar array, warp wideband advanced recorder processor. So again, these are all components from NASA, and it's from ASC. Autonomous Science Crafts Experiment. So these are experiments that NASA is actually doing in 2011. They're trying to get these things to work. Don't you think it's kind of strange? It comes up in the wow signal that was sent out 1977 on line 9. Yeah, so there we go. So maybe there's some answers here for you guys. This is a deep space one flyby of Comet 19P Borelli. That's what it looked like. That's all the details. So if you go into Wikipedia, Deep Space, you can find it. And again, for this one here, like all others, go on to the Victoria Stafford, a psychic investigation .wordpress.com for more details. I'll show you the titles, the pictures, and the links for you to click on everything that'll take you, take you to the blogs where I found the information. And I also post my thoughts. And there's the video for each section telling you a little bit more about what it's about. Okay? So that's for video number 9. Next one's going to be number 10, where we're going to be talking about spectrum and stuff. Okay? Oh, the hydrogen line and the actual signal. This is all about the wow signal. Line 10. I'm finally getting to the actual nitty-gritty about the wow signal that I learned.